Welcome back to the channel everybody. We are here in the city of Eastville again supporting BNB Moto Group. And what a better way to start this meet than with a Lamborghini. And I have the owner right here. What's your name? Daniel. Nice to meet you. I'm Francisco. Tell me about this Lamborghini. Well, this is just a, you know, pretty stock looking uh, Lamborghini here. It doesn't have anything on it but our tune. So it's completely stock, but it is tuned to a factory tune that we call it. Yes. So what we do is we unlock the potential of any car. When we get into the ECU, we remap it. And the rest is, you know, it's a secret. Do you own a shop? I, uh, we have a shop in Fountain Valley. Oh. Uh, in the industry. We do everything from uh, Porsche, BMWs, Audis, Mercedes, any high exotics or big basics, you know. So whatever you want, stage one to three. We'll, we'll tune anything, you know, you bring us and we'll work on it. I want to leave uh, the information of the shop in the description below. Uh, so if you have any projects or any performance, then you get you want to get out of your vehicle, you can contact him directly and see what they can do about your vehicle. I'm pretty sure you can push some good numbers, right? Yeah, this one's pushing uh, 720 horsepower and 768 pounds of torque right now. And I know right now we're doing the 992s. Oh, yes. It seems like I think we're the only shop that has... The, yeah, it's about brand new. Yeah, yeah, we have the only ones that, to be able to unlock that car right now. Man, you got a pretty good potential. Huh? Yeah, so we, you know, if you have your 992s out there, hit us up and we'll take care of you guys. Yes, yeah. that's good. That, that, that's Along uh, with all the BMWs and M4s, yeah. And threes, whatever you guys got, so we'll take care of you guys. So make sure to contact him because he is supporting us today and he is supporting us because he's offering help to perform better on our cars, right? And uh, hopefully, one day, probably you want to do my M4 right there. Oh, so, yeah, for sure. probably one day, <laughs> when I put some a power up from my M4, yeah. but thank you, thank you for the opportunity. Yeah, no, thank you. And behind me, I have this 2015 BMW M3. So, I have the owner right here. What's your name, David? Yeah. I'm Francisco. Yeah. Uh, tell me about your BMW M3. Okay, so my uh, BMW M3, it's a uh, vinyl wrap, uh, diamond white. Um, and I got a bunch, I got the uh, sunroof option. The sunroof option is more rare than the carbon roof. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, and also, uh, I got all these carbon fiber accessories. Um, and the carbon fiber accessories is a three piece diffuser that we have here. I have the side skirts. We also have my custom lip. Um, the side splats are my custom design too. It's um, uh, they're all my design because uh, I have my own business, uh, JP oh, yeah. Dynamics, and uh, we just uh, sell carbon fiber accessories. But we are m doing more uh, research and development of creating more uh, products for the BMW cars. So we do everything from the uh, uh, Auto Series F, um, the 2 Series, 3 Series, 4 Series, M3, M4. Now we're making parts for the G20, the, new, okay, okay, the yeah. newer models. So like right behind you, um, you can also see that I have oh. a, um, a wing that I created. You, you created that one too? Uh, no, well, it's, a, it's, it's a Japanese style wing and basically um, it's, a, it's a clamp on. You can see it's clamped on, no drilling. Oh, yeah. all right, yeah, that's a smart design. Yeah. That's actually a smart design. So but. this wing fits um, a lot of cars. It fits the uh, 2 Series, it fits the M3, the M4. Uh, it, it, it actually fits a lot of cars. <laughs> yeah, so um, the reason why I'm popular is because of you will not find my prices anywhere else. I'm, I'm about 50% or 40% cheaper than the competitors. Yeah. So uh, yeah, if you go to the front, I'll show you my lip design that I came out with. So that's our design. We uh, designed and developed that, and it's been track tested. Uh, we took it out on the track. Uh, and it holds up pretty well. As well. I, I want to take more of your time, but I know you were with the baby, and and, um, and and I know you need some time for her too as well. So, anyway, thank you, thank you for your time. And in the description below, when I leave his information, in case you are looking for any performance part for your BMW F series or G series as he's working on. Like this. To me, I have this 2015 Chevy Corvette and I have the owner right here. What's your name? Joseph Mercer. I'm Francisco. I'm really happy to see cars like this over the mids because, you know, it brings the spirit up. Yeah, because we are 
with performance and this is a classified as a supercar. So without mind, tell me about your car. Well, as everyone knows, this is literally a C7 Z06 Corvette, the last of the front engines, and uh, as you guys know, they're moving the front engine to the back on the new C8 Corvette. So what makes this one even more special, not just alone that's the last front engine, is actually as well that it's a manual, seven speed. So that's another thing, full competition package as well. If you can see the competition seats, which are pretty rare, uh, so that's a special order from the factory with those. And uh, just the red pinstripe being through the red interior, the red dash, and uh, just little, and uh, also this color was actually only made two years. It's called the shark gray color. And uh, yeah, metallic shark gray. So it was only manufactured 2005 and 2016, I believe. Do you have any projects to do with the Corvette or you gonna keep it as it is? Oh no, I definitely have some projects. Actually, that's what I was linking up with some people right here now. It's gonna get a tune. Uh, we're actually gonna put a bigger uh, supercharger on it too as well. Uh, we're actually gonna also, believe it or not, stock uh, suspension right now. Know. Like, I know, I mean like, <laughs> believe it or not, it's pretty slant. Yeah, yeah. But uh, we're actually gonna drop it down a little bit more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're just going to do a couple of things, like maybe exhaust, a course of exhaust and stuff like that, you know? I forget either for the amount of money you get this card, no, the card beats it. Oh, no. The amount of money, I mean, you, I, no. I feel like you get your money worth on this card. Yeah, this is, this is a supercar, then it is way cheaper than supercars. Correct. <laughs> yeah, that will, be, that will be the way to say it. Correct. But yeah, man, amazing car. And I'm pretty sure we're gonna keep talking in the future because Absolutely. we are always around talking to people over the meets, you know, going to different places. So thank you, man. It was a pleasure. Take care of yourself. Behind me, I have this Nissan 240C and I have the owner right here. What's your name, man? Travis. Nice to meet you. I'm Francisco. Tell me about this beauty. This First of all, I wouldn't be here without my buddy Sammy. So thanks to him for telling me about this car meet. I appreciate that a lot. He's there. But anyways, eh? he's there. Focus. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, yeah, this is just my dad's original Datsun 240Z. It's a 1970 original make and model. It actually didn't come this color. They painted it black. It came silver. But um, this original motor in there, I put the uh, rebuilt the carburetor, rebuilt the turbo, put a comp cam in there, put a new radiator in there. So I've just basically been trying to refresh everything make it a natural street car for nowadays because back in the day it used to be a 1980s street car racing porsches panteras kawasaki 1000s beat them all <laughs> but anyways yeah when this car's running right it'll lift the wheels off the front of the ground so in second gear so oh wait, uh, what yeah <laughs> that's a street racing car dude well i know guys so dudes who build my motor they run them out to seven grand all day long on a on a stock motor oh yes i, I baby this thing yeah 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 so mm -hmm. compared to the way I drive it, it's like I'm yeah. fucking baby in it. Yeah, it's an uh, engine forever, right? Oh yeah. yeah. But anyway, thank you, man. Thank you very much. Yeah, we wanna keep uh, looking for more cars. I think I wanna talk to a guy with a Volvo over there. All right, cool. <laughs> and here I have this Volvo. Very surprising because I never see Volvos over the mids. But anyway, we have one. And here I have the owner. What's your name? Jesse. Jesse Nino. So tell me about your Volvo. Um, it's not your typical. Oh, yes, wait, okay, wait. Yeah, it happens, you know, it happens a couple times already. Okay, now continue. <laughs> I mean, it's not your typical street car, it's an inline five turbocharged, you know, front mount intercooler. It's a five cylinder one, right? Yeah, five cylinder. That's like, yeah. I don't, Volvos are known because of the five cylinders, yeah, right? Five -cylinder. Being a Volvo owner, on a mid full of cars, you know, BMWs mostly, right? And Fords and anything. Subaru. Tell me, tell me your opinion about how you feel. What are your thoughts about? I mean, my personal opinion is, yes, the cars are all beautiful, but it's the same car, different color, same wheel, <laughs> different color. It's all the same thing. I feel like nobody really dares to be different. Yeah, that's right. And I have no issue being different. And, you know, I'll tell you one thing, they don't leave me behind, that's for sure. Is there anything you are going to do with your Volvo? Um, just going to change a couple of setups, uh, mainly on the intake, so it's not sucking in too much of that engine bay heat. Yeah, yes. But, you know, 
I mean, I, I've got everything prepped. I just need a couple more little things because, you know, I don't know. I don't take my car to a shop. I do everything all myself. So. Yeah, it, it is not as bad as yesterday, right? <laughs> yesterday was crazy. Yesterday when we went to this video was crazy. But anyway, thank you for your time, man. Of course. Thank you. I really Thank appreciate you. your opportunity to review your car and uh, hopefully we can see you in another meet and yeah. we'll see you again when I review you again because Sounds good. <laughs> yeah, Volvos, I, I like Volvos, you know. Sounds good. Here I have this BMW 335i M54 engine and I have the proud owner here. <laughs> What's your name? Diana. Nice to meet you. I'm Francisco. You I really like to see girls over the meets because, you know, we are all welcome. It doesn't matter if you're a guy or girl, right? Because you are an enthusiast girl showing your beautiful car, yes. then I'm afraid to race. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about your BMW. So she's an M54. I'm currently stage two. She's, she's full bolt-on. I'm working with Curable Tuning to get it tuned for my intake manifold. Um, this is a paint job. It's not wrapped. Everybody thinks it's a wrap. Yeah, it looks like a wrap. <laughs> and this is her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tell me, uh, do you have any projects for this uh, beautiful car? I do want to do a color change, so that's probably what's next. <laughs> Performance-wise, I think I'm done working on it. That's right, I don't want to raise you, you know? <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I don't want to raise you. everything I want right now, I haven't seen. The only thing I did kind of want to look into or try was the Dock Race single turbo kit. Oh, okay. But I just did my um, turbos about a year and a half ago, so I think they're still good. Yes, yeah, too early. And I it's a lot of work. Feel for these before I do a single turbo. Uh, anyway, thank you for your time. Thank you. And hope to see you on another meet. You know, probably when I review it again. You know, and probably you have a, another color and some other modifications that you have to share with us. <laughs> this is a 328i and we have the owner right here Hi. so this car looks special but tell me why this car is so special so i got this car about eight months ago um it it was just plain alpine white i threw on some stripes let me pull it up i threw on some stripes and i didn't like the way it looked that's how it looked before this work is nuts bro and the headlights and everything, I just, I didn't like how it looked, so I, I bought some new headlights for it. Um, I got the grills blacked out, did the crash bars red. Um, I did the muffler, resonator, all that. And then I just threw on the wrap. That's where we are today. Of course. I'm tuned and it puts out a lot of power, like more than I need. Uh, tell me, do you have any future projects with it? Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do rims next. I'm looking for rims. And then um, I was thinking about changing the color of the hood to just black and then getting mirror caps. Hmm. And then s soon coilovers. Coilovers. That's like in the future. Anyway, I like your car in, in, in general because um, I mean, it is a car that doesn't look basic. Yeah. It doesn't look basic. Even knowing that you have the four-cylinder engine, it looks more than what it is, and it has more than what you need. Yeah. And that's what it is. So thank you for the opportunity, man.